So in some ways, like the, the, the decision not to go to light heavyweight now, or maybe is kind of like the, the respect thing, almost like what DC did with with uh, uh, Kane back in the day, where he's like, I'm not going to fight in the same division. Is that kind of what you feel like? As long as he's there, you don't want to be in that division. Yeah, there's, there's a certain amount of respect, and then of course, DC's my brother. We came from the fucking very beginning together, and so. I'm not gonna step on his toes. I'm gonna let him like close out the way he, he wants to. I got plenty of time. Um, I'm training. I'm, I'm healthy. I'm getting healthy. You know, I'm nearly there. So we'll see. We'll see what's up. You know, Madison Square Garden is very appealing. I, I like that stage. I've always wanted to fight there, and so gotta get the right matchup and. Uh, We'll see what comes what comes to be. So we have seen because fans notice it. You know, everybody heard the Weidman fight, the Weidman fight, but nobody ever made an official announcement. So no pen to paper yet. Is that that's not necessarily the fight? No pen to paper. <laughs> Does that is that one not intrigue you? I mean, of course it's it's, in, it's intriguing. Madison Square Garden versus Weidman. It's uh, number two. He's number three. You know, it's a pretty clear cut fight, you know, and then go out there and do, do do the job at Madison Square, it's it's fun, it's sexy. So you like that one, you, you, so, so is he holding out, so why is it an official? <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta show me the right contract. Fair enough. Hey, I, man, I'm making, I, I don't need to do anything in these days. Listen, I, I'm, business is good. We're, we're doing business everywhere and, and I got a lot of things going on and when, when, when you show me the right contract, then I'll sign the, the right contract. So. Um, there's been a conspicuous lack of any form of mind games coming out of either Khabib's camp or Connor's camp. Is this a sign of respect or is it a sign of nobody wanting to throw the first mental punch? You know, I think Connor may be looking at Khabib and thinking that it might not be worth playing the psychological mind but games. Whether it's worth it or not, he's always done it. That's it, been part it, of his way of, of warming up to a game. We're not that far away from the fight. But one, one thing I will say, um, after the Marcus Davis fight, everyone was expecting me to trash talk for every fight after that. And when I was lined up against Mike Swick, because I didn't say anything, it was quite unnerving for him. All I did was I showed up at the press conference with a runner-up trophy. And that was that was it. That was, I'd, but because he was expecting like an onslaught and he didn't get it, he kind of didn't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. And you've got to think if like Connor's coming back after a long layoff, he's a bit of an enigma anyway. He's got a massive amount of cash, so we don't know exactly what kind of training camp he's putting himself through. But then if he's not being very vocal about it as well, I would imagine a part of Khabib's energy was dedicated to preparing himself for that from Conor McGregor, you know, to, to, to withstand the onslaught and to, you know, to not get too drawn in. But if he's not getting that from Conor, that's going to start a narrative in his mind as to what is going on. He's coming back and fighting Khabib for a reason. And I think that reason is he knows he can catch Khabib and he knows he can finish him in dramatic style. Yeah, I, I agree. I don't think we have seen the best of Conor. I really don't. I, I think that he's got the, the time and the resource and the people around him to create the kind of training camp that he wants, to afford the kind of training camp that he wants. And we, we've seen him get so far in his career, really, by only throwing a left hand at the right time. Uh, I mean, that is his whole career was built around that. The perfect time on the right hand, on the left hand, setting people up and walking them onto it. When we go back to the Max Holloway fight, and I know that was a long time ago, but there were certain things that he did on the floor there that were incredibly impressive. There was a guard pass that he used against Max Holloway. He used it against Dennis Seaver as well, which was incredibly impressive. And it's, it's a very high-level transition. So I think there's a lot more to Connor's game that he's not even had the opportunity to show us yet. Obviously, he's going to end up on the floor against Khabib. I would be surprised if he doesn't. So we're going to have to see some of that. But I think he's going to surprise a lot of people. And honestly, after Khabib's fight against Alaya Quinta... I wasn't nearly as impressed with him or as intimidated by him as I had been before. So when Khabib's dad comes out and says, if Connor got the best coaches from Dagestan, from Turkey, from Russia, from America, put all these wrestling coaches in the same room, there still wouldn't be enough time to make him a good enough wrestler. You don't buy that? No, but... <laughs> It's not it's, a wrestling match, yeah, though, exactly that. They're not competing in wrestling. Connor has to get up three times. That's all he has to do. He has to not take too much damage and he has to get back to his feet. The difference with Connor's style and with Khabib's style is... Connor switches people off with one shot. Khabib grinds people out over a distance. I was disappointed that, he, that he, he, it took him so long to, to get the better of Ally Quinta. I mean, he should have had him out of there in three rounds, really. And when he didn't have him out of there in three rounds, he started to slow down. I mean, we know Connor slows down as well in later rounds, but you've still got to think that if he's managed his energy systems well in the early rounds, he's still got the opportunity to find that, that left hand. And, and if he does, I don't think Khabib's got the technical ability or the guard or the defense to, to stop him. Just tell us about the opportunity that you have here against Nico Montano going for the title and 
you know, finally having that opportunity in the flyweight division to get that chance? Uh, for me, like, um, every fight is fight. It doesn't matter it's for title or not title. I every time prepare me as best as I can. And for me, it's like one more fight. And of course, I'm very happy that this fight, particular fight, it will be for the title because um, I've been on my way for a long time for the UC belt. And uh, finally, I'm feeling like very happy because UC created exactly the weight class uh, where uh, I can feel me very comfortable. Because um, before we had opportunity to fight 135 and 115, it's like dying in cutting weight or um, have like another opportunity to fight with someone bigger and like uh, to manage uh, a lot of uh, work when you're fighting. And now in 125, in one f uh, in flight, by, uh, flight, uh, flight division, I feel like uh, this is exactly where I have to be. And how did you go about making that transition? Because you were fighting 135, so you maybe had to add muscle, what have you, to get up to that weight class. I mean, I don't know how much weight you were cutting, if at all, to be at 135. But now that you have 25, and that's where you started out your career, I mean, how did you come back down to that weight class? Uh, for my fights in bantam weight in 135, I never was cutting weight. So my walk weight is 135. Mm -hmm. And usually I was like every time this weight, and for the fight I was exactly the same weight. That's why it was a little bit like um, difficult, not difficult, um, difference. It was different to fight with someone who was cutting from 155 to 150 pounds and then after the weigh-in gaining like almost the same bag and of course it's very different when you fight uh, fighting with someone bigger. It doesn't mean that I had, uh, I was like uh, feeling me so bad. No, I was feeling me very good in bantam weight, very strong in bantam weight, the same good. But I want to say that in fly weight, I feel me much better because fighting with the same sized opponent, it's uh, something that um, give you opportunity to uh, show more skills from you. Did it take longer than you wanted to get this fight put together? Because I see on social media that you know there was some back and forth between the both of you about getting the fight started for the, the, the title fight that you have? Of course I would like to uh, happen it uh, before because I was ready to uh, fight in June, in July, <laughs> in August, <laughs> now September. Of course I wanted to make it happen before but um, it's uh, not every time things uh, happen as you want and um, doesn't matter now, now uh, I already like I don't think about it now I have only September September 8 in my mind one day and I will be ready for this date and I hope that Nico she will um, like follow her word and will show up in the octagon and we will fight because um, how I say every time before she will be inside of the octagon I cannot believe she that she will do it Yeah, good. Yeah. 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 Ye